today I have for you a first impression on the new Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. This is my very first first impression, so let me know in the comments below how you like the first impression better than the reviews, or if you want me to keep on doing the reviews like I usually do them with the pros and cons. I obviously already have the foundation on my face, I'm just wearing it for the purpose of the intro, but I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started. Alright, so this is what the bottle looks like, and I absolutely love the packaging. It actually reminds me of the Chanel foundation. It has a pump, which comes right in handy. And the shade that I'll be using is caramel. They don't really have that many shades for darker skin tones, which is something I'm not too happy about, but we'll be trying out the caramel shade and see how that works. Today I'll be using a beauty blender. I usually use a flat kabuki brush, like this one, but we're going for the beauty blender. By the way, today I decided not to use my ring light so you guys get the more natural lighting. Let me know how you like this lighting better for makeup tutorials just because many of you guys say that my face looks washed out compared to my neck. Um, so let's try it. I have some right here. Oh wow. Wow, that covered that completely as you can tell. That is insane. Today I didn't even put some concealer in my blemishes, which I usually do before I start applying my foundation, but I wanted to see how really full coverage this is. Alright, so that is a thin layer. I really like the color actually. I thought it was going to be a little bit too ashy tone for me because when I tried it out in the back of my hand, it dried out a little bit ashy. But obviously my arms are extremely dark right now compared to my face, so yeah, I like the color. As you can see, I've been breaking out in my forehead lately, so I'm going to see if I could cover that a little bit more and check if it's buildable. Wow. Yes, honey. Wow, I completely love this foundation already, to be honest. Just because it really looks airbrush and your skin but better. Like, it doesn't look like you have too much product on your face because certain foundations, especially when they're matte, because this foundation is matte, gives you that cakey look to your face. But this one is just so nice. Love it. Love it. Aw, oh, damn it. I forgot to use this. I was actually going to use the Hangover RX primer under this foundation but I guess you guys get the actual review without having a primer under which it's better that way you know exactly how long it lasts alright so this is what the foundation looks like without any powder or concealer on I really like it it's just very natural and lightweight but it gives amazing coverage because I had some breakouts in my forehead but I'm going to finish my makeup and head out and then keep you guys posted on how long it lasts and the pros and cons of the foundation right now it's 343 Alright, so it's currently 8.47, basically 5 hours later, and this is what the foundation looks like. I really, really love it. I did get oily throughout the day, especially in my T-zone area. I am normal to combination skin, like I've mentioned before in previous videos, but if I don't set my foundation, which I did it today with powder, I get pretty oily. So, aside from that, I loved this foundation. To me, it's a demi-matte finish. It's not completely matte because I still have, like... A glow to my skin which many foundations once they're matte they take that glow away from your skin for example the L'Oreal infallible foundation it's a completely full matte foundation one of my favorites is super full coverage but that one it's way more cakey compared to this one. cakey as in it looks like you have a lot of foundation on but this one just makes your skin look so so natural very lightweight I just love the feel and texture of this foundation love the packaging as well has a amazing pump which comes quite in handy I am in the color caramel if you were wondering the only con that I have about it is the fact that they don't have a large range of colors to choose from and each color basically like jumps really far away from each other like caramel and mocha which is the next color after caramel it's very deep and dark but overall this is an amazing foundation I think it's totally worth the try it's $40 it's oil free it's pretty long wearing I wore it for about six hours it's also very lightweight it makes your skin look and feel natural I think it's going to be a great foundation for the full time as well but long story short love 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 this so that was it guys, I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below how you like these first impressions slash review. And if you'd like to see more, let me know which products you'd like to see next. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And see you next time. Bye.
They don't even let me finish. 